Oh, wow, oh, this, this is, is cool. That's nice, man. That Model T, it's, I worked on years ago. Wow, that's cool. But I mostly like automotive. When I was growing up, my dad, he had old cars that he would always influence me. I had to think, I'd like to own one of them. So I bought cars as a reminder of when I was younger, and it's my enjoyment. How long did it take you to do this? 10, 12 years. It was all in pieces. It was just a sheet metal, but there was no wood. It was all rotten. You can tell the Model T that is meticulously done. Think about that 10 to 12 years you've committed your life to finding every single part on this car. That's how detail-oriented Dean was. And it shows, man. What's up with this bicycle? What's going on with that? That's a bike I acquired probably 40 years ago. Can we look at it? Sure, yeah. It's a wood rim bike, and it's got a head badge on it, which is huge. This is a Cleveland bicycle. It's turn of the century. And this was built during the heyday of American bicycling. There were four major bicycle manufacturers turn of the century. Pope, Gormley and Jeffrey, Overman, and Lozier. Lozier made this Cleveland cycle. I love this time period because it's creeping into the beginning of the motorcycle industry. It's pretty cool. What's going on with that? What are you going to do with that? It's going to find a home someplace. Yeah, it looks like it's original paint. That seat's pretty rough on it. These handlebars are actually bent. They've bent them to kind of look like a racer. I'd pay 500 for it. That does anything for you? Uh, it's probably going to find a new home then. <laughs> you doing it? Sure. Right. Thank I you. appreciate you. Thank you very much. I love old bicycles. I've been into the bicycle world for a long time. Woo-hoo! Did you restore this car, too? Yeah, this is a 48 Dodge. And then you yeah. got the four-door here. Yeah, that's a nice car. That's original. At first, I was always around farm stuff. And then my dad had a garage and gas station when I was growing up. Then when I got older, I worked in an automotive machine shop. So I enjoyed that. I love this truck. This is an 83, Danny. That's beautiful. What's the long-term plan on this? Uh, there's a doctor, and he wants that bad. Does he? Has he offered you any money for it? I told him it might be 20000 He said, I don't care what it is. Don't let it sit outside. He said, I want to take it. <laughs> so I said, oh, there it sits. That's a killer truck. I know, man. Look at that, Danny D. So you've got all of this early McCulloch stuff. I was the youngest uh, McCulloch dealer in the state of Michigan because the dealer that they had wasn't doing uh, mechanical work. I was doing some of his mechanical work. How old were you? I was 17. I didn't want to really work for somebody else. I always wanted to work for myself. So you were self-employed when you were 17. Well, I still had a job. I worked construction, too. Dean has been in business for 55 years. Imagine the sense of pride being able to pass down your business, everything that you've worked hard for, to your son. That's pretty cool. What are you thinking on that clock? I got that clock in 1962 from my father-in-law, who was a Magneto man. Oh, OK. And he serviced Magnetos and sold them? Forever. He started in 37, 38. Wow. If you're into early transportation, you're going to need a Magneto guy, because the Magneto is what gives the engine life. It's a self-contained unit that uses a magnet and a coil to generate spark for the ignition system. And that's what's cool about this clock. It's directly connected to early engines. That yeah, clock looks 40s to me, late 30s. Oh, look at yeah, that. there we go. She's running. There it's running. Isn't it amazing the way they made things back then that's wow. still running? What is that? Is that like steam behind it? What is that? It's on the glass, actually. It looks like someone tried to scrape something off of it with a Brillo pad or something. It's etched in. It's a nice clock. $1,000. You're probably going to take it with you. <laughs> it right, fell man. off that shelf. Well, I mean, if the glass wasn't that way, it'd mark it up even more. It is a nice clock. Yeah. I'm just obsessed with all of these John Deere implement toys. We was a Ertl dealer. We would buy this stuff by the case. There's a lot of connection to John Deere out where we're from. It makes me real sentimental when I see vintage John Deere items. We grew up around John Deere. Every single little boy who grew up in the Quad Cities wanted to work at John Deere because they all love a tractor. That's what a lot of them see every day out their window. That's what a lot of their dads drive or their grandpas or their aunts or uncles. I remember when Miles was little, my son Miles, we would collect books on John Deere. And at two years old, he was like, paver. Grader, oh, combine, yeah. well, that's good. end loader, like all this. And so he just was so in love with it. He's a welder at John Deere now. My son works at John Deere. And that's so cool. Like that was his whole life when he was a baby. That's all he wanted to talk about. I would really love to take all of them if you're wanting to part with all of them. Yeah, yes. I'm getting kind of old to set out here and play with a little tractor, you know. 
All right, so if we count all these up, I see about 12 of the bigger tractors. How about the little ones? I want the little ones too. And all these tractors are right around 1970s for the most In that part. Area, okay, yeah. yeah. Some of them are contemporary, but they can still definitely be sold. So at 12 of the large John Deere tractors, how would you price that? Well, I would take, a, say, a tractor like this here, a yeah. B, BR or something, I'd take that to a show, I'd be $60, $70 probably. Okay. But the little ones, they're five bucks or something, you know, 10 sure. bucks. So I'm gonna offer 450 for all of them, counting this display. I, I'll go for that. That sounds, sounds like... all right, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, the kids are gonna love these. They're gonna get so excited about these in the shop. Thank you. At Antique Archaeology, nothing runs out the door like a deer. It's local history. Whoa! This kind of pick, this kind of guy, is how I cut my teeth on the back roads of Iowa. I could spend hours and hours talking to guys like Dean. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate Thank you. you. You got a lot to be proud of. Yeah, I do. It was really interesting to meet other people with the same interests. And I had fun just playing around with them. It was nice. See you hey. down the road! Thanks a lot. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.